And now, when you're doing even 20, you need to, you need to consider transportation and packaging. So what did we do? We, we tweaked on our dimensions so that my top part, which is the box, can get into the door of the post box. So we pack the top, put it into the door. Then what happens? My volume reduces and my top is protected. Then what I do, I turn the base reverse and put it inside. Tremendous amount of advantage in transportation cost. Today, for example, if I have to send 20 boxes to Chennai, the cost of truck is 18,000 bucks. Look at number one. That's how it reaches the customer who is my post office in a remote location. Number two, he has to take the base out from the top, keep the base outside, he has to take the top out, assemble the base to the body, assemble the top to the body and your box is ready. Tremendous amount of advantage in transportation cost. So half the volume, what did we get by doing half the volume, tell me? So it's a huge cost. We never realized that packaging is a big cost in design. So just see how we're getting into manufacturing, production, packaging in a very, very close way. And then the best thing happened to us when we got the order for 20 numbers and we said we want to launch all over the country. The you know, principal secretary of postal department went and approached the minister to launch this box as part of their 150 years of India Post existence. So this is the interesting story of how we started with 20 boxes and to a surprise as soon as the program happened now everybody knows about the box. So look at how design can flow. So everybody now knew that there's a new box. So they then said we want at least 200 boxes to begin with. So then we took the challenge again. The challenge was to collaborate with large scale manufacturers. We again approached uh, Jindal. They produced the best stainless steel for us. They said, no problem, we'll give you low nickel stainless steel, which is cost effective. Nickel is the one which gives shine in the stainless steel. So look at what happens. You can even change the metallurgy of the raw material if you are with the manufacturer. So designers have to reach that level if you are to have a successful product that you change the metallurgical composition of your sheet which is produced so that you can have cost effective products. So stainless steel sheet was produced at the Jindal factory. Then we had G Plastics, which is the largest plastics company in the world. We had already had 20 boxes all over the country. So people started recognizing us. They came back and said, we will help you produce the engineering plastic. So look at that engineering plastic we produced. G has a big plant in China. And I wanted red color because post office, red is a very important color. So they did polymer processing in China brought the granules to India, did the extrusion, look at that extrusion machine in the bottom, extruded the sheet in Ahmedabad and vacuum formed the sheet also in another company in Ahmedabad and helped us develop the top of the box. So now we are using engineering plastics but you are using vacuum forming tools which are low cost. So from there then we went to Godridge, the CEO of LOX division came to us and said Professor Chakravarti we like to be part of this project. Now look at this beauty. People are coming on their own and saying we want to be part of this project and we could get the best locks, Godridge locks onto the post box which are non-trusting locks. Then again CNC manufacturing happened from Jindal architecture. Then a very interesting problem we were facing. Our vacuum formed plastic parts are different different parts. You need to adhesively bond them. And I was always very skeptical that adhesives will fall off. How many of you know that the aircraft wings are stuck with adhesives? So today, there is so much technology in adhesives that you can actually have the adhesive stronger than the virgin material. So if I stick a plastic and a metal, my adhesive will not come off but the plastic will break because metal is stronger. So we have adhesives of that quality. So we went to the best adhesive manufacturer called Huntsman who make adhesives, they were in Hyderabad and we produce the adhesives which will join these plastic parts so that the box is integral and nobody can come and whack away the top. And then we are supposed to bolt this box in the floor, right? So for bolting the box in the floor, we went to the best anchor bolts, Hilti, which produces these bolts which are you know drilled into the floor 
and then they are, they got different types of bolts. They suggested a bolt which we should use. It's called chemical bolts. So it releases a chemical and locks in the floor. You have a concrete floor. You can lock this bolts inside and bolt your box on top of it. So you can take out the box whenever you want. So they got the best anchor bolts in this. So we had an all-round you know, uh, you know, process. And what are these small models doing here? You can see my computer and scan the model. Promotion, marketing and promotion is a very, very important component of design. Now everybody, we, we launched during the event. So we made 200 of these boxes. Your miniature should be better than the original, right? It can't be like a Kilona. It has to be very good. We went to the same manufacturer who coats bumpers uh, for uh, the grills of cars and we got one of the best coatings of uh, you know uh, chrome on an ABS material which is injection molded ABS and we made this really good then we made a real brochure on this with all the advantages of the box maintenance proof very tough easy to use good place for advertising all those things are on the box so that we sell internally in the uh, uh, within the post offices as well as the people should know what the advantages are. It's a very important component of promotion. And then here we see how we you know, went ahead with collaborative innovation of user-friendly design. We use very high-tech manufacturing. We have high quality materials. Every material uses high quality and contemporary. Then we also made you know, conveniences for very everyone. The user, the you know people who are collecting the letters, as well as the people who are installing the post boxes, as well as people who are carrying the post boxes, people who are carrying to the locations. So we considered all our users, from the primary user to the secondary user to the tertiary user. We have a very very elegant and modern look, and you know, and it's also revenue generating because you put advertisements. Your cost of the box can come back to you in two years. So this, you know, was a very interesting, you know, case study where we could do all the aspects, uh, you know, very effectively uh, in the design. And then we reached now the, you know, second value of death. Till now we are still in pilot production. In mass production, what happens? Can I do mass production? I can't. I have to have manufacturers to do it. And then when 200 boxes went into the field, what will happen to the users? There will be tremendous amount of input which the users will have. Input means we will get a lot of feedback. So I must tell you that we got you know, a lot of feedback and I will keep the suspense till the next class where we will show you how we got the feedback and what we did.